When we look at the difference in reporting between how the establishment corporate media have portrayed and covered Kyle Rittenhouse and how they've all but ignored the suspected murderer who drove through a literal parade full of people, who by the way has a rap sheet longer than my arm, that same racist lying media have convinced people that Rittenhouse, who defended himself by shooting three white people, as a white supremacist. Meanwhile, why can't the media label a career criminal who posted literal hate and threats against white people as a possible black supremacist. Hey everybody, your resident man in black is back for another edition of Things That Need To Be Said. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kangadis. Really quick, I just want to remind everyone to please subscribe to our Rumble channel, and no matter where you're watching, please share this video. Give it a like and a comment below. Oh, and also really quick, I want to wish all of you a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Now. On with the show. I'm not gonna make this too long of a video this week because, well, I know all of you have stuff to do over the next couple of days. So let's take a quick look at the facts and I'll leave it up to you if we need to start openly classifying certain people as black supremacists. Now by this point, we've all seen the word vomit coming from the mouths of the establishment media when it comes to Rittenhouse. They've called him a white supremacist, even though anyone with two eyes and who actually watched the trial knows that he shot three white people. Just look at the propaganda CBS corporate robot Stephen Colbert pushed in response to the Rittenhouse verdict. Cards on the table, I'm not a legal expert, so I can't tell you whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse broke the law. But I can tell you this, if he didn't break the law, we should change the law. Okay, well, using a Norm Macdonald quote Steven Crowder's show uses all the time, which perfectly applies here. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. <sighs> So since we know how the seemingly government-owned media has portrayed Rittenhouse, how have they covered suspected human pile of garbage Daryl Brooks Jr., who we now know is who the police have arrested as the only suspect in the heinous tragedy that happened in Waukesha? I will give credit where credit is due. In my research, I found that both CNN and MSNBC did report on Brooks' criminal record, which they also posted in videos on their YouTube channels, but made not one mention of the suspect's social media history, which clearly shows that he could possibly be what we might consider a black supremacist. While no one really knows the motive behind the senseless attack by a domestic terrorist, you know, the term the left likes to use to describe parents who disagree with their kids being taught how to be racist, the Daily Mail published an article that showed what were alleged social media posts by Brooks anti-Semitic posts about genocidal Hitler quotes that he said was research, posts that directed animus towards police while praising the Marxist Black Lives Matter movement, posts that even promoted violence towards white people, and as he wrote, old white people too. Not only do we have those examples, but this dude was apparently a rapper. And I'm not gonna say his hip hop name because it's a horribly stupid name that makes no sense and screw that guy. But his lyrics included hate for the police, Donald Trump, and said in one of his songs at one point, quote, sliding through the city with no safety on, unquote. If that doesn't sound like someone who either has a death wish or could be someone capable of ending someone else's life, I don't know what does. That's something someone who doesn't legally own any firearms, which means they have no regard at all about the safety of others, would say. And I don't even really have to mention this piece of trash's rap sheet, and I don't mean a piece of paper he writes lyrics on. Basically, folks, records show this dude is a criminal going back to 1999. He's violent, he's abusive, and he seems to have a problem with Whitey. And, and, and just for those that haven't removed the stick from their asses yet, I would say the same thing if the races in this situation were reversed, but they're not. We're talking about this specific situation, and this POS, allegedly, should get no quarter. He wasn't defending himself. It doesn't matter if he was fleeing another crime scene. And I don't really give a damn whether or not this crap heap was crying in court. He can save his worthless tears. <laughs> He intentionally killed multiple people and injured dozens of others. Don't take my word for it. Just listen to Waukesha Police Chief Daniel Thompson. At 4.39 p.m. on Sunday, November 21st, 
of 2021, a lone subject intentionally drove his maroon SUV through barricades into a crowd of people that was celebrating the Waukesha Christmas Parade. All that being said, logic and human nature would dictate that if there's such a thing as white supremacy, which there is, I mean, not to the degree the establishment media and career politicians would like you to believe, but there is, then there must be such a thing as black supremacy, which there is. But the media only seems familiar with one of those terms. So what do all of you think out there? Were these things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments, where I do read most and reply to some. And don't forget to make the switch to Rumble. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored it or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook and check out more of our work at MRCTV.org. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.